Shalom Akim, call Halai La, Yahabashim Yahusha, Shalom Ahab Al Rakim, Habachayar, Wa Sukwanyam, Wa Akim, Wa Ibajim, Baha Wakakwadash, Baha Yahusha Hamashiya, you know. Um, this brother Chayiha here with another video. Um, you know how I do, I'm gonna just start off with the Hebrew alphabet and I'm gonna give Akim, you know what I'm saying, the word of the day, man. Alright, so with that being said, this is A, Ba, Ga, Da, Ha, Wa, Salaki, Sa, Kha, Ta, Ya, Ka, La, Ma, Na, Sa, I, Ha, Taza, Kwa, Ra, Sha, Ta. All right. That was a Lashawan Kwadash, which is uh, which means holy tongue. Lashawan, which means um tongue. Kwadash, which means holy. All right. That's our native language, man. According to the prologue, the prologue of Sirach, man. All right, brothers, got to get on top of the Hebrew because when Jacob's trouble come, we're going. We're going to need to know who to pray to and in what language to pray in, man. Even if you're saying, Brakati Habashimi Hawasha, man. You know what I'm saying? Brothers need to uh, be learning how to pray in the Hebrew, man. All right? So with that, I'm going to go over it one more time and then I'm going to get the word of the day, man. All right? This is A, Ba, Ga, Da, Ha, Wa, Za, Ha, Ta, Ya, Ka, La, ma, na, sa, i, pa, taza, kwa, ra, sha, da. All right. Again, the Hebrew alphabet is only 22 letters, man. Brothers got to get on top of this thing, man. And the word of the day, I'm gonna hit brothers with it. Salak, salak. All right. And it means forgive in the English, man. But this is how you spell it. S A L A C H or Sa La Cha. All right, and here it is in the Paleo Hebrew, which is the uh, which is again is the original alphabet, man. All right, the original language, the Lashawan Kodash. All right, this right here is Sa La Cha. All right, and you got the connectors there between the La and the Cha because it's not Salacha. It's Salak, all right, Salak, and it means um, it means forgive, man, all right. When you ask for forgiveness, and the scripture that I'm gonna give to brothers tonight is Psalms 25 and 18. This is King David. It says, "Look upon mine affliction and my pain, and forgive all my sins." Yeah, this is uh King David back in the ancient times talking to Habashimi Hawasha, all right, and King David. Is a beautiful example to use considering the elect, man. All right, because we in the flesh, we're gonna go off, but we're still begging Yahabashimi Hawasha for forgiveness, man. All right, we want the Lord to forgive all our transgressions and sins that we've committed against Him, man, because we we know we are unworthy, man. We know we we ain't much, man. All right, but Yahabashimi Hawasha is dealing with Israel and Israel only, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. So it says, look upon my affliction. Yeah, look upon my troubles and my pain, my tribulation. Oh, Lord, Yahabashimi Hawasha, and forgive all my transgressions, man. All right, we know we're not worthy to even praise Yahabashimi Hawasha, but the Lord said he's dealing with us and us only, man. Okay? And that's that's what yeah, uh, that's what the elect uh, uh, will be praying to Yahabashimi Hawasha in all righteousness, man. Begging the Lord for forgiveness, man. Asking the Lord to forgive all of our sins, all right, which are many. Okay, so with that being said, that was the Hebrew alphabet word and scripture of today, man. Abaratazah, Lord willing, Akim was edified, and until next time, man. Kahalayim la, Yahabashimi Aosha, a shalom.